Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Carol and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that surprised me when I moved to Poland. Now, the list that I have here is not exhaustive. There are a lot of things that surprised me and shocked me when I moved to Poland. Maybe I'll do another video to add on, but these are the top 10 that shocked me when I moved to Poland. So the number one thing that shocked me when I moved to Poland is how early the sun sets during winter and how late it sets during the summer. So when I moved here, it was winter time and I found that by 3 p.m., 4 p.m., the, the sun is already set and it almost looks like it's midnight. I found that quite shocking because where I'm from, we associate sunset with the day being over. So for me, my struggle was feeling like I hadn't done much with my day or I hadn't finished everything that I wanted to do during that day. But in actual fact, I still had so many more hours in which I could make use of the time and, you know, do whatever I needed to do. So it took a bit of adjusting to to realize like, oh yeah, it could be dark outside, but I can still go to the bank. It could be dark outside and I can still go, you know, to the grocery store because chances are it's just three or 4 p.m. and there's still so much time to the business day. So just bear that in mind. While we are on the sunset, the other thing is when we are in summer, they move the clocks ahead with one hour. And then when we are in winter, they move the clocks back with one hour. Just bear that in mind and make sure that you have your clocks set for the right time when you move here. And the other thing that shocked me Okay, I had put this as a whole point, but I feel like they're different things. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so the next thing that shocked me about Poland is how the sun could be out, it's bright, and yet it is still very cold. Oh my gosh. The first few days I suffered because I'd look outside, I see the sun, it's bright, it's burning, and I'll be like, oh, so today is a warm day. And then I go out wearing skimpy clothes. I go out and I realize, oh my gosh, it's so cold. So what I had to learn to do is to always check my weather app before leaving the house. Because yes, the sun is out, but it's also minus seven. <laughs> can't just tell whether it's cold or hot outside by judging if the sun is out or not so yeah i think that's it for this point it was just it was a little bit all over the place but then i didn't want to separate them next thing that surprised me about poland is that they have gas water and water with no gas like when it comes to bottled water um when i came here i don't know who told me this but as soon as i got here someone told me that oh by the way we don't drink tap water in Poland. I don't know why, I just took it and I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we don't drink tap water in Poland. But then it's also okay because the bottled water is quite affordable in my opinion. So I bought my first bottle of water and it was water with gas. Oh my God. I could not believe it. So now because I don't know that there's water with gas and water without gas, I just thought this is what Polish water tastes like and I could not believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to live in this country when the water tastes like this? I'm gonna be here for three years. Am I gonna get used to this type of water? What? No. <laughs> It was actually quite crazy but then i later found out that there's water with gas and then there's water without gas so the water without gas is the one that we are used to in zimbabwe africa and other parts of the world so i'll put the name somewhere down here so that you know which bottled water you should get if you prefer water without gas if you want to try out the water with gas obviously you can go ahead and do it but then if you do <laughs> find yourself with water with gas not all polish water tastes like that they are different so you just choose what works for you but the third thing that surprised me about poland is how organized 
they are you guys people in this country are so organized like where i'm from people just walk wherever they want to walk people just cross wherever they want to cross but then that's not the case in poland you have to walk in the designated area where pedestrians should walk if you're a pedestrian you shouldn't be walking in the cycling path and you should be nowhere near the roads if you are a pedestrian and you're seen walking on a path that is meant for cyclists you're gonna get fined the other thing is also that you cannot just cross anywhere in the roads you only cross where the is a zebra crossing line wow i didn't know about this um but then to me it has been a little bit frustrating because i have poor time management skills right and we are only supposed to cross where there's a zebra crossing line and sometimes the zebra crossing line also has a traffic light for people what is it called i don't know but the same way that cars have traffic lights us pedestrians also have traffic lights so when our light is red you can't go through you have to wait for it to turn green and when i tell you that i've missed buses because my traffic light was red and i couldn't just run and catch my bus wow so yeah that's just how organized they are and unlike in my country where maybe when the bus driver sees you he can wait for you they don't do that here if the bus is supposed to leave it's gonna leave you behind <laughs> so yeah one thing about poland is because they are so organized you're gonna have to really work on your time management skills i'm still working on it <laughs> i'm getting better but i'm still working on it because when the bus is meant to leave at three, it's gonna leave at three. It's not gonna wait for you. And the other thing is you can't just drop off anywhere. This to me was quite shocking judging from where I'm from. We just do whatever. Like if you're in a public transport and you wanna get off, you tell the driver immediately, drop me off here and he's gonna stop. But then that is not the case in Poland. They are so organized and they have a place for everything. All these things that I've mentioned, if you are going to be like, ah, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna cross the road anyway. If they catch you, you're actually going to be fined. If you're new to my channel, I stay in a small city called Lublin and they have some very old and historic buildings. So what surprised me about this infrastructure is you could see a building that looks very old and dated up side and you'd probably think nobody stays there because it just looks that dated and then you get inside and it's so modern that was actually the case with the apartment where i am currently staying i came with my agent and when i saw the building i wasn't really impressed by it and we are going up the stairs i was a feather unimpressed by it and i was just thinking that there is no way i'm gonna be leaving in this building like no i'm not and then we walked into our apartment and it was so beautiful it was so pretty it was clean it was modern and you will find that that's the case with a lot of polish buildings and yeah so if you ever see a building just give it a chance you will be surprised by what is inside that building even though it looks dated and historic from the outside the next thing that surprised me about poland is how affordable it is this surprised me because poland is in europe and i generally used to associate europe with high cost of living but actually that's not the case um it tends to be very affordable their rentals are not off the charts you know day-to-day -day living it's very affordable so yeah to me that was quite a shock especially considering that it's in europe and comparing to other european countries it is actually quite affordable so yeah when you come here just know that you're going to be able to leave your best life on a budget it's quite possible the next thing that surprised me about poland is how religious they are Oh my gosh they are i think about 90 percent of the poles are catholic and they take their religion seriously you guys everything is closed on sundays they do not joke with their 
their religion even when you see things like some of their legislation and stuff like that it is quite tied into their religion as christians and as catholics and they take it so seriously so yeah that's just something that you might want to know before coming to poland the next thing that surprised me about poland is how they have not had so much exposure to people of color yep i came here in 2019 and at that time i could still meet people who would say things like i've never met a black person before i've only seen them on television i'm like what in 2019 but then it would actually make sense because they are only now starting to open up their country to foreigners and it's only now that you know black people have started to come to poland and stuff like that even then there is still very few of us i would say we make up about one percent of the population so yeah when you come here people are gonna look at you they're gonna stare at you it's not because they don't like you it's not because there's something wrong with what you're wearing or you know something is wrong with your face chances are some of them have just not met a black person before i used to be offended okay for lack of a better word yeah offended let's me okay fine let's use annoyed in the dating scene when when someone seems so fixated on the fact that you're a black person and i'm just like you've never met a black person before and i ended up realizing yeah it actually is true they've never met a black person before they seem to be fascinated by us and sometimes they are for lack of a better word ignorant uh i would get questions like so how did you <laughs> get your braids on because like i i do a lot of things with my hair i could I could have braids like this sometimes i have my short hair sometimes i'm wearing wigs and they'll be like so do you have a special shampoo that makes your hair turn out to be so different every other day i'm like and i really couldn't believe that people wouldn't know how braids are made or how i naturally do not have long silky hair i i don't know i was just wow you really don't know that much but yeah some of them most of them actually have not been exposed to black people and the black culture so you just have to be patient and teach them and explain to them some of these things they are they, they just don't know, you know the next thing that shocked me when i moved to poland was the polish face oh my god I don't think I've ever been in a country where people look so serious in the way that Polish people are always serious. I kid you not, every Polish person has a... <laughs> and I feel like this comes out very hypocritical considering I also have that face. Like when you look at me most of the times, I'm serious, but I'd never seen it on other people and i'd never seen it so much on other people like you will rarely ever meet a polish person who's always smiling and bubbly and stuff like that not to say they are not happy people but when you first encounter them chances are they're not going to be smiling they will end up warming up to you but in that first encounter there are gonna be no smiles at all so yeah just bear that in mind and maybe you want to ask for directions and someone looks so serious just have the bravery to just walk up they will end up even smiling to, at you and helping you out it doesn't mean that they are not happy and bubbly people they just happen to be serious when they are maybe they're alone or when they are not with somebody and they're just you know minding their business so you find that if you end up talking the, to them they're gonna be warm they're gonna be kind they're gonna be nice why do i feel like i'm describing myself and now i actually feel like a hypocrite for saying that because i'm also a person who's like that like when you first meet me i'm not gonna be smiling you are going to be afraid to approach me and stuff like that but yeah so are the poles but then they are very nice people they are very helpful people i find them to be kind next thing that surprised me about poland 
is there smoking culture oh my god i don't think i had ever been to a country where people smoke as much as poles do wow where i'm from smoking is not a common thing and if i'm being honest it's something that is very judged very harshly and then you would never see a woman smoking like if they do they do it in hiding but here it's very it's okay i think in work and in school they are smoking breaks and stuff like it's very it's something that is accepted and people do it quite a lot it's it's just one of those things where when you move to Poland, you're going to get used to being around a lot of smokers. That is for sure. So yeah, for me, this was not a problem because I had like family members around who'd smoke and everything like that. So for me, that wasn't, you know, a big deal. But I do know that in our culture, it's something that is not widely accepted, especially for women. But here, anybody can smoke. It's very common. And yeah, next thing that shocked me about Poland, and I put this last because I want to say this with a disclaimer, there is no country that is 100% safe. You still have to be careful. You still have to look out for yourself. You still have to be, you know, aware of your environment and stuff like that. Because like I say, there is no country that is 100% safe. But I would say I found it very shocking for poland to be as safe as it is it is a relatively safe because i don't want to say it's a safe country and then you people go on and be reckless and say kerosene is a safe country no it's relatively safe and it tends to be safer than other countries that i lived in including my own home country uh i say this to say i think i said this in my other video where i was talking about poland and i was like we had classes that would end at like eight and we never had issues. We never had stories that this happened to this girl or this happened to that guy. But knowing that you still have to be careful. Also, this is just my own personal opinion. I'm not saying be reckless. I always give reference to South Africa because that's where I studied for three years. You guys, you were afraid to walk alone during the day. It's, it's daylight and you would still be afraid to walk alone. So for me, that has stood out in this country. And I actually do appreciate that about Poland. The fact that I don't have to always have somebody to go to the grocery store with. If I need to make a quick run to the store and it happens to be 7 or 6, like I said, it does get dark quite early. I'm not afraid. In as much as I'm still careful, I know that I can go and come back and I might still be in one piece. So I honestly think that Poland is relatively safe, but also be aware of the fact that there are some crimes that do happen, but they are not as rampant as in other countries. So yeah, guys, that's it for me. I actually did a poll on my Instagram and I made people vote on the video that they wanted me to upload this week. So the, here it is. And if you don't follow me on my Instagram, please do follow me there because besides posting pictures of my outfits, I also make you guys have an input on the kinds of videos that I can make and, you know, things like that. So if you are interested, Please do follow me there and I will catch you in the next video.